Levi? Yes, yes, you are. We are. Awesome. We'll give it a minute, get the people to come in. Yeah. Anyone in the chat yet? No. No? Okay. Yeah, we'll give it a oh, minute. Man. Oh, Abby and Cassidy are here. Abby and Cassidy are here. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Harrison's here. Hey, Harrison made it tonight. Having some difficulties over here. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start, just jump right into it. This is going to be, I want this to be a fun episode tonight. I want this to be an interactive episode. So make sure you're giving us those comments. Um, but I'm just going to start with the introductions here. Welcome to Cocktail Corner with B-Neck Steve. I am your host, B-Neck Steve. And tonight is an extra special episode for us tonight. Tonight is the wedding night. Ooh. Tonight is the wedding theme. So we uh, going all out for this one. Um, so I'm sure, as you guys can see, we have lots of stuff on the counter here. Uh, so let me just start off. I'll give it a minute for Anita to figure her look up. So I want to show Anita's look as well tonight. Just having some difficulties. So I'll take the camera <laughs> here while Anita does her look and I'll explain all what we have on the counter here. Um, so we got these little boxes a while back from Disney Fairy Tale Weddings. Um, so this one has uh, this is some stuff for me in here. These are to hold up your collars on your neck for your tie. Uh, and this was a little charm there as well. Sorry? It's only going to stay in my hair for a few minutes. Okay. And then over here in this box, we had a little bag for Anita's shoes. Uh, let me just fold it out. See? So we're in, Cinderella is proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. So that was supposed to be for Anita's wedding shoes. Okay, we're still alive. Okay. Um, next, I want to show you Anita's look. So as you know, here at Cocktail Corner, we both serve up drinks and looks. So here's Anita's look for tonight. This is the bride, the lovely bride. So she wore a veil. This isn't the veil she was going to wear for the wedding. This is a ridiculously long veil. Oh, Marie. <laughs> All right. And then I want to show you her shirt because she just made these shirts last night with her cricket. So up top there, you see 4-20-2020. We crossed that out. Then we got 12-10-2020. So that's the new wedding date. And then if you turn around, Anita, on the back there, she got COVID bride. Yay. Yeah, and so she made one for me as well. So I got 4 20, 20, 20 and 12, 10, 20, 20 with the Mickeys and Pixie Dust. And on the back, uh, let's see, COVID groom. <laughs> so we were wearing these today while we were going out and about, but, uh, I decided to put on a suit for this. Oh yeah, and she's got these ridiculous shoes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now you want to take the camera, Anita, and yes, show them. I need to get this okay. Thing off yeah, she's head. taking her veil off. Come on. Oh, the kitties like it. Come Marie, come here, Marie. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> this is my, one of my old suits. So I just decided to throw it on to dress up with just a tie. But the socks we also got from Disney Fairy Tale Weddings in that package. So, let's show them the socks. It's got yeah. Cinderella's carriage on it there. So, these also weren't the socks I was going to wear for the wedding. I have different socks I was going to wear, but I thought I'd wear these ones today for get this. Stuff out of the way. Um, a few more things I want to show you guys here on this counter. Uh, I want to show them this ornament. So this was given to us by Cassidy. Thank you, Cassidy. This Yay. is beautiful. Uh, this was uh, an engagement or engagement party present, I believe, from her. So this is really nice. And then we had these wands that we were going to use. Uh, how does this turn on? Right here. Mm. Is it? I don't know how these... There we go. So these were the bubble ones. And we were going to use these for our exit. And they were going to blow the bubbles. But, uh... We'll still use them in December, hopefully, as long as... We might have to change the battery on them by yeah. that time, but... Somewhere up there, I can't see. Oh. Oh, oh that's it. There's bubbles in there. Okay, there we go. That's all. Okay. So I um, want to do the cocktail today. So there was a cocktail I wanted to make. It was called the Grey Stuff. It was going to be our signature cocktail for 
our wedding tonight. Um, I couldn't find the alcohol for that and I was kind of flustered and I didn't know what to make. So we're just gonna make a fishbowl style drink in our Nautilus. So this is loosely inspired by the drink over at the Wave in the fishbowl with all the candy and stuff, but obviously a fishbowl you can kind of make with or whatever. So these are the alcohols I just pulled out to start with potentially to put in there. But if you guys think of an alcohol that you think we should add or a juice of some sort that we should add, to the Nautilus, um, shoot us some comments, let us know while we make this and we can kind of go from there. Um, but yeah, let's get started with something. What do you think, Nita? Start with rum as a base at least? The Malibu, yeah. yeah I'm not... Rum, not the spiced? No, I'm not sure about the, the vodka, vodka and tequila. Well, we'll start with the rum. A double? One and a half? Sure. We want to have a good time tonight, so uh, hmm. let's go strong. We haven't actually drank that much yet today. No, we were good. We had, I think, a glass of wine each and a mimosa, and that was it today. So, yeah, and they were small glasses of wine. Yeah, so we haven't actually yeah. drank very much. Um, spice rum? Yep. You want to do a bit of spice rum? Yeah, let's do it. So for those who don't know, the Nottos I pulled out on my very first cocktail corner, but I never saved that video, so if you didn't watch it live, you probably didn't see it. But the Nautilus is a souvenir drink cup that we that I got from the Trader Sam's at the Polynesian which is a bar there a really fun bar um but yeah this is they serve a drink and it's called the Nautilus I don't know what's exactly in that drink but uh we're making this tonight mm -hmm. little tequila a little bit of the Patron sure okay this is brand new I haven't opened it yet Ooh, love this. Oh, sad. Our sign fell. Our sign fall? It died. Oh no. Just like our hopes and dreams. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of Patron. Yum, yum, yum. Two ounces. So I put in two ounces of the rum, an ounce and a half of the spiced rum, and two ounces of the tequila. Any other alcohols do you guys want to put in there? Anyone? Should we add a little bit of vodka? I feel like we shouldn't put vodka. No? No. Maybe put melon liqueur? Yeah, we like can a tiny a bit. Here. Kaylee says, add it all. Add it all. <laughs> Just make it pure alcohol. Gross. So I an ounce and a half of the melon. Abby says, use Alize. Yeah, we can do an ounce of Alize. This is gonna be a strong drink, guys. <laughs> okay, I don't have to work still tomorrow either. We need some room for the uh, juices, though. Yeah, that's true. I had someone ask me today, how much have you drank since quarantine started? And I feel like I haven't drank that much. No, I, we, despite what you guys may believe, we usually actually only don't drink until Cocktail Corner. Yeah. And that's usually the only drink we actually have. Yeah. Um, so when I do this, I'm doing this sober most of the time. <laughs> the first one or two times I think I was drunk when I did it, but after that, I've been sober every time I started doing this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Juices? Any other alcohols we should add? Um, no, I think that's good. I think you should put some ice. Ice? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Harrison says, I want it to be mostly orange juice. Nah. Well, we have, I think we have some guava juice and stuff. I think well. the guava juice would be good. Yeah. It's tropical. I didn't bring it out. But... Let me grab that guava juice, actually. I forgot about that. I think we bought it for the first one we made. Only if it's Oasis, friend. Unfortunately, in this household, we use Del Monte. Yes, yeah, sorry, Harrison. <laughs> My feet hurt. I had to sit down. We actually have guava and we have mango in there. Yum. Yeah. There is, we have mango as well. Cassidy says homemade pog juice. Yeah. This is all the juices. So what do you want? Just make a concoction of all the juices? An ounce of each? You do whatever you want. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we just put all the juices in there? A little bit of each or should we... Focus on one or two. I'm not sure about the orange juice. I think the other three would be good though. Oh, I think I, I need to shake this one. Ah. Uh. Cool. 
Kyle says, looking suave, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Maybe guava mango pineapple. Just stick yeah. with those three. Yeah. Tropicals. Wait till you see the suit that I had for the wedding, Kyle. That one was fancy. <laughs> Hopefully, it still fits in eight months. I don't know. I don't know if my dress will fit. <laughs> Chelsea says, haha, Skittles vodka. <laughs> Kaylee no. says, don't forget, Skittles vodka. <laughs> the green kind. I got rid of that Skittles vodka. Nicole says, now you look like a real bartender. Yeah. I mean, this is what I should have been wearing every night. The only thing <laughs> about this is our apartment is ridiculously hot, and I'm, like, sweating in this right now, and I just put this on, like, 20 minutes ago. Yeah. 30 minutes ago. Uh, Abby says, hashtag quarantine 15. Your mom says, no more donuts. No, oh, mine is more than 15. I and mean, longer than the quarantine, that's for sure. Kyle says, my beer belly is likely larger than it was at Disney, if that's possible. <laughs> I think that's all of us right now. Okay. So I put in six ounces of juice in there. I don't know. Anything else we should add, guys? Should we add some spices to it? Cinnamon and nutmeg? Yeah. Yeah? Let's add some spices to it. You're committed now. There's a lot of booze in there, so you have to drink it no matter what. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also have my little diffuser going, and I have the Grand Floridian essential oil. Going. And we have Grand Floridian music playing in the background because that's where we would have been right now in bed. The wedding would have been over. We would have been in bed. Harrison says, just try to drink the red one last. He's asking me if I'm skipping his commentary. Drink the red one last? I don't know what he's talking about. I, oh, he's talking about Skittles. Oh. Skittles, yes. The, the Skittles vodka is gone, guys. That's, <laughs> that's long gone. I had one... Um, of that and I said nope not doing that again <laughs> Kyle says Anita you're the best producer ignore Harrison <laughs> and then Harrison okay. says nope Skittles vodka Let's mix this all up. of course we should add a glow cube or two to the drink Yum. okay let's try this and see how it tastes it's even not uh, drinkable. Who knows? There's some PG-13 comments going on right now. Oh, PG-13, guys. This yeah. Is getting <laughs> That's good. It tastes kind of like your basic tiki, tiki drink. It looks want, spicy. Yeah, you want to try and see? Mm-hmm. Something you find at a tiki bar. You're not a fan. The Ooh. face she's making right now, guys, if you could see it. What do you what do you want to add to it then? Or do you just not want to drink it and I'll just drink the whole thing? Mm. <laughs> do you think there's any sandwich? Because I liked it. I didn't mind it at all. <laughs> um It's a... Uh... I gotta ease into it, I think. I don't think it's that strong. Your sister wants to see my outfit because she missed it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, can I gotta get the well, thing back on. So, she did have a veil on, wait, but it's wait. not the veil she was gonna wear for the wedding. It was a test one, and it was. Um, Absolutely ridiculous. It, it, we're calling it the Priyanka Chopra veil. <laughs> If you guys ever saw the Jonas Brothers, Nick, uh, Nick's, Nick and Priyanka Chopra's wedding, that veil was ridiculous. So that's what we're calling this one. I can't even, like... I don't know. This okay. is not... What is it? Cathedral? This is not even cathedral. I don't Kyle know. Kyle and Harrison, I'm just reading your guys' comments. Stop, uh, stop flirting on there. <laughs> Jeez. I don't even know what kind of veil this is, like, lengthwise. Which wedding, though? Yeah, right, Tasha? I think the first one. I think the first one of theirs. They did like four or five wedding. Okay, I should show her. <laughs> All right. You, you weren't showing. No, I was on me. Times. No, it was on me. Wow, you're I'm the worst sorry. producer. <laughs> I'm used to being in front of the camera, not behind it. Yeah, but um, it's really big. Yeah, if you're trying to make me jealous, Harrison, it's working. 
Yeah, so there's the uh, outfit. That's not the veil we're going with. That was a, a tester. Yeah. But let's show my sister the shirt as well. So Anita made these shirts last night with her cricket. This is coming off. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, she's just taking her veil. And she's got a crown on there as well. I don't know if you guys saw the crown earlier. But yeah, so she made these shirts last night with her cricket. So we got our original date up there, 420-2020. We crossed that out and we wrote the new date down underneath. And if you want to turn around. And then we got COVID Bride on there as well. I have the exact same shirt, but mine says groom on the back. And then I'll show my sister your ridiculous shoes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to self. Okay. Um, I don't really have a show and tell for tonight, guys. So I think that's going to do it. Um, this may kind of be the season finale of Cocktail <gasps> Corner. I don't, season finale well i don't have any <laughs> ideas for any drinks to yeah. come and nothing for tomorrow so i'm off tomorrow so i might do a cocktail corner tomorrow if inspiration hits me but i don't want to be held to doing a cocktail corner tomorrow because i know we do have some plans with some to facetime with some of our friends and do hoop to do a virtual hoop to do so i don't know what state of mind we'll be in by 10 30 tomorrow night uh so I don't know, we might do a cocktail corner tomorrow night, we might not, <laughs> and then I'm going back to work full time and all that. Those are the socks. Oh yeah. Your sister says we can do a workout corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll Fats. see. I mean, I'll, I'll be on my Instagram story doing a cooking corner tomorrow because we're gonna make some cornbread and potentially some strawberry shortcake and maybe some other food for uh, hoop to do but yeah, this might be the last Cocktail Corner for a little bit, potentially, unless I get some ideas of something to do. I'm closing at work on Wednesday and Thursday, so I'm definitely not doing anything on those two nights. And then maybe on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll do something. But I'm not sure yet. No promises. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's a wrap on Wedding Day Cocktail Corner. Uh, do, you want, do you have anything you want to add, Anita? No? I'm good. Yeah, okay. it's been a slice. Yeah. It's been great. It's a fun day. We made a nice dinner. Oh, maybe we should show them the gray stuff. Sure. Let's show them the gray stuff before we go. So I made dessert, which is what we're going to delve into now. If you guys haven't watched my story, we made the gray stuff. I'll put that down there so you can see it. So it's basically a cookies and cream mousse, and it's served in Disney World inside of a white chocolate chip cup. Obviously, we are not making a white chocolate chip cup, so we just used our regular chip mug. Mm -hmm. But it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty close to the Disney World version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> it has the look. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to drink our drink and eat that and wallow in our self-pity for the rest of the night. <laughs> and there's a kitty, if you guys were wondering where she was. Okay, I think that'll do it, guys. Yeah. Bye. Right, have a good night.